two, one. Do the same up top. Nine, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This is going to end up just being eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Do the same up top. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And let's get a sharpie because it's easier to see what's happening. And then if I do this in pencil, the light's a little bit bright, which means you can see stuff, but... I don't know how many times I've drawn out this one-inch grid pattern, but I've done it a few times. And that's alright. Looks interesting on the sped-up time-lapse of things. And there's a grid. I might actually make this 8 by 10. Hello Beatrice, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Today is going to be blockhead still. It's not going to be animated today. This is so it fits better. I can tape this onto a, another sheet of paper that's the same size. Or that will fit into my scanner bed. This is an eight by 10. I'm doing all right. Uh, not too much going on. I'm gonna cook with my sister later, which is why I'm not doing an animation today. So what I've done thus far is drawn out 
one inch squares onto this uh, piece of paper and then trimmed it down so that I can put it on one of these guys with a little bit of a buffer so it doesn't have to be quite so perfect when I draw onto it. Now let's grab some tape. And put it generally centered. Doesn't have to be perfect. Tape up here. And I'll try taping down towards the bottom as well. I'm going to take it on the edges too. Depending on how quickly I go through this, I might see about like uh, I don't have it set up. I've been thinking about trying to show recording music as just an alternative to, uh, or an additional thing, something that I can have as some sort of incentive. Right now I'm trying to figure out how to make the Discord server a little bit more engaging, make it so when people go there they feel like it's not just me saying, check it out check it out. Here's all the other things. Uh, but right now it feels like it's like slightly less presentational than uh, being on Twitch. I'm trying to think of things that I'm not good at facilitating conversations with people in that sort of format. I'm not super well versed in Discord in general. But uh, last night adding just a little thing where it's like, you know that thing I was talking about in the stream? Here's the example of it trying to incorporate more of that um, just by showing the uh, cassette shelf that I got that I like. So I'm trying to think of things like that uh, and I was considering like what if it's showing me recording some of the tracks or something or music on the uh, cassette tape in a way that seems a little less presentational that has some sort of element to it that's a bit different of a feeling. I'm not sure, but just trying to figure out what might fit well in the Discord space. And that also feels authentic to myself as a person so I don't feel weird doing it more like I'm just trying to force something that's fine you don't have to contribute anything appreciate you considering trying to think of things that's just me talking out loud and filling this space so that it's not just me painting while you're here right now I think it's the bongo yeah, it's bongo boys that I put in today. Just trying to maybe facilitate a space that has a different sort of feel to it. But, yeah, considering trying to show making music or something in a way that seems engaging, I guess I could, if I'm just sort of generally making the track, I could move some stuff over here, but part of the appeal of having this desk is that 
don't have to uh, move things around as much. Let's bump this down just one.
have not thought about puzzles. I have thought about other physical things for doing these. These would be a difficult puzzle because there's so much repetition in the uh, pattern and it's not got uh, multiple colors in there. This would make a difficult puzzle. And I had not considered it as a thing. Because if you were to cut up this into however many pieces it would be frustrating to rearrange because you've got so many similar elements in the drawing. Puzzles could be interesting, which is something that I do not personally have the facility to construct. I know you can get custom puzzles, but if I'm doing like custom puzzle prices, then that means that I would have to sell it for more than that.
Thanks. Boardwalk Skeeter. If that isn't your real name. I know it's not your real name. I know your real name. And it's Donald Fagan. You're the famous. You're a member of Steely Dan. No, you're hiding in the podcast world. Trying to be like Donald Fagan would never start a podcast. He would just produce them. And you're right. Donald Fagan wouldn't have a... I don't know if he'd have a podcast. I don't know what Donald Fagan's like as a person. It's just a funny name to know. streak I resubscribe to yours uh, maybe he would have a pod maybe Donald Fagan would have a podcast if uh, if you're just saying he's a pretentious guy I feel like there's some pretension in some podcast groups um I didn't have my computer muted so I was testing my audio quickly for a second beforehand. Um, yeah, I did my, what was it, my Prime subscription. I used that to subscribe to Zolik's channel for, I forget the last time that I set it up, but it's the hope that eventually you'll get like five bucks from me, kind of. Amazon money that I did not spend any amount of money towards Amazon ever. It's all just money in the bank for one coffee. I was thinking about filling this one in, but I don't really want to. There's too many faces. Or if I can still choose to do it. Let's see what time is it? 3.30? I should fill it in. It'll make for a better thing. Too many places. Got some nice personal friends in the chat. I'm coming into this. Okay. I'm gonna fill this in. Analog style which will take 20 to 40 minutes probably too many faces and too many places at least most of them are small gonna come through with the larger chisel brush and then come back with the little guy. Not enough traces. Yesterday's wasn't really a tracing buddy time chat with my best buddy, Donald Fagan. Fireside chats with Donald Fagan.
Donald Fagan could be a libertarian. I feel like that wouldn't be surprising. I think most pretentious, like, uh, technically proficient musicians that aren't, like, in jazz, funk. I think nerd pretentious musicians tend to be in the realm of being a libertarian. And that is me just talking about conjecture about Donald Fagan and Rush. I can see a lot of people going that route. Prague does have a libertarian sort of vibe to it. Going by Prague Fest on Ponce. Uh, yeah, I can see a lot of like roadies being libertarians. Despite the fact that all roadies are uh, reliant on other musicians for their uh, livelihood. And that's the irony in the Prague Libertarian. I don't know what rhythm this is. Let's see which one it is. I'm gonna mute my mic and look. I think this rhythm was me doing something kind of like a George of the Jungle ish thing. I don't know. I don't remember what I was thinking. I'm not sure if it's an arpeggio or what. Arpeggiation? That might be what it is, is that the synth bit might be on like a different time signature. I'm not sure. You know more about actually describing music and playing it. Is there a full in here? That was a bit ago. Okay, I was trying to be like, who's responding to an email? And then I realized. Because most of the time when I get emails that I don't recognize that say re subject line, it's political emails. It's like, re save the Senate. Dear Jay, 
Does that sign up with my first initial? And don't put in my name. So it just does the first full thing. It's like, Dear Jay, did you know that the Republicans and the Democrats are in Congress? Please give us money. That's politics for you. game for uh, Boardwalk Skeeter and myself uh, just going through different musicians and being like libertarian or not it would mostly be white musicians from the 70s and 80s curious about Billy Joel seems like someone who could be any sort of political affiliation and I wouldn't be surprised by it I watched a TikTok because Zanzibar is big on TikTok as a song and it's a teenager and his dad in a car and the dad, they're listening to Zanzibar and the dad is like, now this is real music and they just both really enjoy it. It's a nice, nice moment, but it's funny because it's just like an awareness sharing. That awareness of the song is as important as the song itself, not more important. get to, or if Dylan is still on there, Boardwalk Skeeter's still around. I forget if I've played the Cowbell one for you, or if you've been watching the Cowbell prison. It's Cowbell time. Should be able to finish painting in this side before the tape ends. I'm painting in this thing before this side of the tape is done. That's why I said side when I was referring to the paper because I was thinking about flipping the tape. and that Lauren Hill is something of a libertarian because she doesn't want to pay taxes. She got, she had a lot of back tax issues. My sister went and saw Lauren Hill play and said that 
she mostly was like, Hi, I'm doing this for Sony because I need money because of taxes. Which is a great energy to go into a set with. It's not exactly, but it's very similar to if it were to be like, Hi, I am legally obliged to be here for this show. Not, not a great vibe going into some. Yesterday in the chat, Ian suggested I download the Switch game app program thing that's the, the done by Korg. Looked a little bit at it. And looks interesting. It looks like it's better for sort of 8-bit sounding stuff, but that it also has some other things on it that uh, I could probably use. I might look more into it in the near future. It could make for an interesting incorporation into a thing because or for playing music. I'm not sure what the playback would be like. I think I would have to I'd have to see what the sound versus output stuff would be. Because if I'm doing a direct input recording from there, there's going to be a slight delay between the actual action and the recording. I'll figure it out. don't have an instantaneous playback on my computer there's a delay of I don't know maybe like 300 milliseconds to f a second I don't really know I'm bad at guessing that but I don't think it's more than a second of a delay but I can't use my computer speakers when I play something because when it's set up for recording there's just a little bit of a delay, and it really trips you up. Something uh, I've seen in different iterations that talks about if you listen to your voice with a delay of like 300 milliseconds to 500 milliseconds, maybe even less than that, but if you hear your speaking at a delay you end uh, uh, saying something like that if it's you have to say things without using your audio auditory uh, no auditory information you have to just say things and just sort of plow through saying them without listening to what it is you're saying and it's the sort of thing that makes you realize how much what you hear impacts how you speak. If you watch people try and talk while listening through like earbuds or something to their vocals, but at a slight delay, they also and they go kind of like that. It's almost like a 
in Bruce Almighty when Steve Carell was like, I don't know, I don't know. Not quite. It's a little bit different. It's more like you're caught on the same syllable for a while. It's a weird, weird action. Yeah, but hey, y'all. So now, it's lip time. Let's go. Top to bottom. Left to right.
gotta just walk it as soon as it's gone. Mm. Oh. Mm. 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 All right. There's a blockheads pattern. So now let's scan this. Make sure it's all dry. It's a little spot that was popping up on some of these scans recently. Let's plug in. Flip image capture, show this, grab this, do that, do this, do that, do this. Waiting on the scanner. No. I realize I don't have my overhead light on. And I'm gonna do bump that up in the custom size. Make this a little bit larger and see if this will. Nope. Grab this. Grab this. This is the heaviest, like, small object that I have. That'll just help get this a little bit more even. This is 11 blockheads scan. That. Jump up my designs, go folder, paste that in, get rid of the front end, scan it, choose it, scan that.
Skip. So now let's pull them up Photoshop. Photoshop not popping up. No, I guess I closed it. Let's see if opening Photoshop will load this up or not. Gonna give it a moment. Okay. Nice. All right. File. Open. It's going a little slow. Buckhead scan. Okay. It's still in slow still. This is a larger image, but I also do I have stuff running that I shouldn't? Yeah, I should pull it out Premiere. Okay. Quit anything yeah, else. I'll, I'll save this. No. Alright, so hopefully this has a little bit less. This is a little bit flatter than the last one that I had of these, but you can see here where there's a little bit more wrinkle more wrinkle in there um you can really see the fibers of this paper uh but it's a little bit blurrier anyway let's crop this down a bit That looks pretty good. Let's get a little bit tighter up top. And a little bit tighter at the bottom. Uh, let's make this uh, 600 even. And that's not what I want. I want that. This is six by ten, which is a little bit off of that. Then it would be twelve hundred even. Yeah, that's on there. All right, let's make this a bit smaller and. That's what I want. I want this side. Darken that down. And clean up these little spots. It's not. That's not the worst. Okay. Now let's save this. And that's not what I want. I want. Um, fifteen fifty. That cost too much. Okay, let's make this fourteen fifty. This actually, this should be very close to being four by five. Let's see if I can't get this just. That much a little bit tighter to get nine pixels off. I'm trying to make it so I can leave the texture for the uh, Instagram upload. without cropping into any of the faces. I think I can. Yeah, this is JPEG, this is Insta. All right. It's not a huge difference in what you'll see as the final thing, but 
I'll still have it going for you or available for you to look at here and pop that off let's mute Photoshop and show this as a just quick comparison sort of deal so you can see they're very similar but in uh, the edited version you can see so much more of the wrinkles when you're looking at it in person you don't see the wrinkles as much because it when it's in the scanner it gets flattened and when it's flattened it tries to sort of fix those a little bit more you also have a greater amount of shadows because there's a direct light that's coming up so what this looks like in person is a little bit varied from what it ends up looking like on screen anyway uh I'm going to go through my spiel. I'm a little bit tired. I had to wake up early for something. Not early, but early for me. Earlier for me. Here are my links. So if you want to buy this or other stills, other drawings, stuff like that, you can go to my web store, which is traceloops.com slash store. If you want to watch this stream in full, uh, sped up a little bit. If you want to check out the tapes, see some other things, uh, you can go to youtube.com slash traceloops. If you want to follow me on other platforms, you can follow me on instagram.com slash traceloops. You can also follow me on tiktok.com slash at traceloops. Basically, I'm on I'm traceloops on whatever you find. If you are wanting to buy something and have it shipped outside of the U.S., that you'll have to contact me for which you can do by emailing me traceloops at traceloops.com if you want to join this discord server that I have running that just gets uh, some different sort of updates things here and there you can have a chat with some like-minded or uh, people like me and people who like me and my work uh, you can join it up there uh, most of it is just reminders for when the streams are happening but uh, if you have questions concerns curiosities uh, additional links that are a little bit more specified if you like watch something and you're like I want to buy that if you jump on the discord server like a couple hours within an hour or two afterwards I should have some post that is like Here's today's illustration. Here's a link if you want to buy it, that sort of deal. Um, or if you have more direct questions, things like that, you can head over to that Discord as well. Uh, tomorrow is Friday. I'll plan on doing some sort of animation. This last week I've been doing a bit of a kick with more rigid illustrations that have perspective-based elements of this blockhead guy. Uh, and then the second day coming back and adjusting it a little bit, doing like something of a slit scan effect, but manually in animation. So you have this established perspective and then I play with it a little bit um, in a way that is, requires a lot of patience and you sort of have to do it twice in order to do it well, uh, doing 2D animation, at least my understanding of it. You might be able to do it better yourself. I don't know. But for me, it's an interesting process because it has this more rigid perspective sort of thing. This thing that you have to like do the work to figure out what it looks like. And then you can come back and play with it a bunch. And with that, it's interesting to see the change and variation on some things. Hey, we appreciate you watching. Uh, those links are right there. I say right there, but... They might be, they're not here anymore because I realize the Nightbot doesn't pop up in the main chat thing, but, uh, or on the stream, you don't see the chat happening, but you can find it in the chat over there. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll be back tomorrow to do some sort of animation. Not 100% sure what it is yet. It could also be an origami thing. I'm not sure, but if you want to know more of that, that's something that I throw in in the Discord right before I start as my general plan. 
Hope you have a nice day too, Beatrice. Appreciate you watching and your continued support. All right, adios.